Welcome to the Tagesschau. Here are Shiva and Jonathan again. The Matrix Sun. In today's video report, due to the many requests from you about the light trap, let's make a video about the matrix, non-matrix. That is about the creation and the free universe. About creating and building the matrix. Have fun! Oh yeah, this is going to be exciting! <laughs> like we mentioned before, today is about creation. The free universe and the matrix, how it was built and created. And we want to go from the top, go to the very bottom. And then just start with the story of creation. I will tell you how I saw it in my interdimensional school. And Jonathan explains it to you in a little more detail. So as I said, I am in the dream world at an interdimensional school. And I have seen how creation works and how we were created. So basically we weren't created at all. I mean, we've always been. Yeah, the true self is not created. Is not created, I just tell how I saw it. And it's actually felt like a memory. When I woke up next morning, I thought, wow, creation happened yesterday. It was very crazy. So we call it God, the original source. The best is origin source. We are actually here within a female universe. But Jonathan will tell you more about it later. And this female source did not create us, the souls, the true self. But we emerge from it. The original source has divided itself into itself, so to speak, in millions or however many selves. Luminous little selves that have just poured out of the source and have spread out and started their own creations and experiences. Because the original source wanted to know everything, experience itself in everything. And that's why she gave us free will. At least, in this universe. We have free will. And exactly, yeah, Jonathan, do you like to tell again? That was my experience and now the explanation from him, because he can always do it much better and more precisely. So as the true source of everything, that is, of everything that can and will actually exist, is the original creator of the original source. And we came all from this original source. These selves all come out of it. And the original source has split itself, you could say, in male and female. And the male and the female then created for themselves several or many universes. I agree. And we are, so to speak, in the female universe at the moment. And everything you know about the universe and what else goes beyond. The multiverse that exists there and everything is contained in the female universe. What we also call the free universe. And so the free universe also where absolute freedom is waiting for us. And one could say that several parties have formed within the free universe. Groups of souls that act together to attract the souls, so to speak or to offer playgrounds to participate in. And one of these playgrounds is our matrix, in which we are here now. And this matrix that we are in here is within the free universe, a closed area. But this closed area has a bit of a cage character. Yes, of course, because we are in a matrix with many dimensions and they are complete. It is a ball. Yeah, you could say it's a ball. You have to say a very large ball because it in the whole 3D world is included. And of course, is the astral are in this sphere. So the fourth up in it, the ninth dimensional additional. But the best thing is to show you all of this in a graphic that we have created. Yeah, we have created a graphic especially for you. So that you get a correct, good overview. And of course you can imagine that much better. 
I agree. And that's why we're moving to it right now. So that means we can look at this here right now. So here you recognize the Earth. Jonah, which is surrounded by this matrix, so to speak. Exactly. Around the Earth itself, there is also a matrix, a grid, which is emitted by the Moon. And then you see the many dimensions, the third to ninth dimension, or just the first to the seventh level, depending on how you know it. And there is also a matrix around this dimension. That's the multidimensional matrix. Exactly. So you see the Earth. Where this matrix, of course, surrounded by a larger matrix with seven levels. And these are all manipulated. Yeah. yeah, you could say exactly. So this was created. So it was created by the matrix creators and are just being programmed and manipulated. That means all beings and souls who let themselves be drawn in there also have the same programming, even the angels and light beings. We all run the same programs. That is, if we are not really in a higher, really very high state of consciousness. We can't recognize these traps right away and we run further after programming and act even after this programming. Just like the light beings and angels, they also run after this programming and talk and act accordingly. Yeah, well, so you can see here. Yeah, so for those of you wondering if we're just poor sheeps, in quotes, of course, we are not, we are all at level one. Well, it's like that we're at level one. So we are at the basic level, so to speak. That is the 3D plane on Earth. And at night, of course, we go into 4D, 5D, 6D. Depending on how far your consciousness is developed on Earth, you go to the different dimensions and have your adventure there, even if you don't remember it. Yeah, you're buzzing around them. Right, and of course, when we come back from these trips, from the higher dimensional matrix areas, every morning when you wake up, is there a machine, so to speak, the oblivion machine that just ensures that you can't remember as well or you can't remember it at all. And it also works with electric shocks. Yeah, you don't notice these electric shocks so much. We have already met someone who probably noticed them or several who told us about them. They went astral at night and wanted to fly out of the earth. And have found, oh, that it's not possible. They tried to get out through the grid in their astral body, but that didn't work. And they, they received electric shocks. This is understandable because the grid is an electromagnetic field. And as you fly in there, bzz, you will be sent back again. So if you want to leave Earth, it is only possible with the mental body anyway. And you can't get with your astral body out of there because as we saw, we are on the planet. It has been shown to us there. That a matrix code was built into the DNA, into the human DNA. That binds us, couples us to the matrix. And the astral body is coupled to the physical body. That means you can't get out of this grid. Because everything is linked here, matrix technically. Yeah, you can see it here to the death. It just shows what happens when a person dies. Then he is faced with the decision. Either he goes into the light. Or he turns away from the light and looks for the loofless that lead to the free universe. Exactly, because as you can see, we have drawn around the matrix. Black dots, these are the loopholes into the free universe. These points or loopholes, they are the portals that I have just seen. They appear because more and more people are awakening. More and more people see through all the manipulations and then appear cracks within in the grid through which you can slip through into the free universe. And because the oblivion machine is no longer a bit cleverly, there arise more holes who are guarded by guards, but 
you can see the little matrix cards on the left and see if anyone thinks no I don't go into the light I take a look at the black tunnels over there they lead into the free universe there they just try to convince the souls they say hey you have may not be far enough yet you still cannot get through it it's really bad if you go in there or such stories they may tell you so that you go into the light again they manipulate you they cannot force you you have free will but they can really manipulate you of course this is primarily done about emotions or if you're particularly attached to someone or when your relatives or family are still here yeah the matrix guards like to transform into your brother or your grandma or your parents the pending is just about in quotes to make you believe that you are not far enough and have to go back of course they can also turn into Jesus or into an angel or everything that just arrives telepathically to them that means they can scan you telepathically and they know what is important for you if they know that Allah is important to you they will transform to Allah or Mohammed or whoever so we mark the universe with these spirals because it's just not so easy to graphically display all this but there are spirals there just indicates that the free universe is outside of this bubble and the loopholes lead to the free universe I agree maybe you can also tell more about it there are many matrix planets like earth and based on that when you die the astral worlds were created so that when you die there is a place where you can go but these places are not part of the free universe they are the fourth to ninth dimensions and every planet gets an astral world or astral worlds or better said as a system around the earth matrix where then the souls go after death to be recycled again and so when they went into the light to incarnate again on their respective planet where they just died yeah the bubble so this matrix astral and earth matrix together are really a miniature version of the free universe you could say only with limits that is with amnesia so you don't remember anything you do not remember your incarnations and you don't remember being your true self and that you are always sent back to this triangular recycling process and now there is the creepy part and that's all you see is just a hologram that is the matrix creators made a copy of the true universe and much much smaller version that means the stars and everything you see in the universe is actually just an image a hologram and you only live in this hologram there is of course the real earth but you cannot perceive or see it because we are in the hologram this is a much much smaller version of the simple true universe just like the starry sky exactly it's actually a miniature version a strip it down version of the true starry sky so to speak or of the true free universe so it is of course there's still the possibility of ascent you can walk through the entire astral planes up to 9D and up there is the exit so to speak out of the manipulated matrix the essence is very long mm. 
But of course, there's just one of many options. But we're still making a video about the different ways of leaving the matrix. Yeah, absolutely, we should do that. There are several ways to leave the matrix. And I think we should better discuss that separately. Yeah. And of course, the loopholes are now structured like this. If you slip through there, then you are also outside the oblivion machine. Exactly. I also have to say the loopholes are portals. I hunted through it once, but was thrown out half away. But they are portals and when you are in there, it's like a wormhole and you whiz through the universe. You're kicked out into the free universe. And then all your memories come back there. That means all memories of your lives that you had within the manipulated matrix will come back. And the memory of your true self, even at the times when you had already lived in the free universe. Or existed, all these memories come back. It takes a while, it does not go overnight. It takes quite a while. There will also be a phase of disorientation in the free universe. Because everything is a little bit different than there. Exactly, it is also important that you particularly disable all of your programs and beliefs and opinions that you have here on Earth. Because if you go into the free universe with your belief systems, the free universe will be exactly as you imagine it to be. And if you don't think it's super cool, then it won't be super cool either, because you are the absolute creator in the free universe. You create everything here exactly and according to your beliefs. You are 100% responsible for everything you create. Yeah, that's why. So there is a bit of disorientation at the beginning. Because with the programming, you have go within the manipulated matrix. In the free universe, this won't be very helpful. So that means a bit of disorientation is already there. That's why you should look at the free universe if you actually managed it to get through the loophole. First look for a quiet place where you can gather and orient yourself before you really start exploring what the free universe has to offer. The best thing is, of course, if you, while you are still on Earth, free yourself from all the programs and beliefs. More and more come into your true self, then it's not that difficult. As soon as you go through the portals into the free universe, right, who has regained his true self during the stay in the manipulate matrix, gets along very well and right away in the free universe. But even those who are not ready yet don't have to worry. The free universe will soon show you how it's going. In addition, you remember more and more of your true self and thus also the options you have and the procedures how to manage the living in the free universe. You then also remember the time when you have already and of course there are spin-offs of groups of souls that just you do their own thing. And one of these groups naturally designed the concept of the matrix and equipped thousands of created planets with light traps, so to speak. Live there. We haven't been here within the matrix from the begin with. So we already had a life in the free universe and at the point we entered the manipulated matrix and then we just go out again, exactly. Of course, there are also helpers who can help you with your orientation because many beings in the free universe already know about this matrix issue in which we are in. Not everyone agrees with these matrices, but there is nothing you can do about it because everything is subjected to a free will. Yeah, that is correct. Of course, there are also helpers 
just like there are helpers within the manipulated matrix exist, only that the helpers here are involved, because they support the manipulated matrix and its continued existence. Of course, they don't do this with an evil intent depending on where they come from, I would say. They are also programmed in the matrix. And well, they'll tell you, go into the light, because you probably don't know better, because they are programmed, the light is good. Yeah, it's not bad either, exactly. It's just not free, you could say. And that's why you should be suspicious. If someone has amnesia, something is always wrong. And if you look at our world, everything is built on it. Here within the manipulated matrix on Earth and also on the astral planes, to function more and more within the system. And somehow everything is based on that, you can view this like a rehabilitation. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's like you're here. I mean, there's also the reward and punishment system here. If you screwed it up, it may be that you think you have to balance it out in your next life and the like. It starts with the dualistic system of thinking, what just exists within the manipulated matrix. 